Today we're going to go over how to correctly buy a hydraulic top link for your tractor. We're going to go through the installation process and all the details on what you need to know to make the best decision. So this is a video I've been extremely excited about making. I've been dreaming about this for quite a few years now. We are just wanting and waiting until we got our upgrade. We finally did it. And, you know, in a previous video we did on the must-haves for a tractor, um, I covered one of the main things. If we were to upgrade to a tractor, it was going to be a hydraulic top link cylinder, right? So we finally upgraded to the Coyote NS6010. You have to check some of our other videos out on the review and stuff on this. This thing is a bad machine, and we are so happy to have it. So now, let's go ahead and get started on adding our hydraulic top link to this. We do have our uh, two sets of remotes here on the back, which you will need for this. You'll need at least one set. So hey, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do before you purchase a top link for your tractor. All right, so the, one of the most important things you guys need to do before you um, purchase a top link for your tractor is you're going to have to make sure you get the right size. So when we are measuring the right size, you're going to want to make sure these are all the way in, both sides. One goes one way and one goes the other. You're going to want to make sure they're in all the way compressed, and you're going to measure hole to hole. So from here to there, as you can see, it's about 19 and 3 fourths. Yep, 19 and 3 fourths from hole to hole, center to center. And that is extremely important when you are um, looking to purchase and buy a new hydraulic cylinder link for your tractor, is make sure you get the right size. Last thing you want to do is get it here and you're completely off and you have issues. So now that we know our size, I went ahead and I purchased one on Amazon. So I'm gonna bring that up here. I'm gonna show you what's in the box. I'm gonna show you everything you need to do to get it ready so we can go ahead and install this on our tractor. So purchased this uh, link, hydraulic link on Amazon, not sponsored by these guys at all. This is just the one that was gonna fit our tractor. It is double boxed here, it looks like. And this is the first time I'm opening it, so you guys are seeing it in real time with me. So we'll open this up, make sure we don't cut anything, cut down too deep. Should come with everything we need, and we'll show you how to install it. So you're gonna get your couple hoses. Look there, one thing I just noticed, on these nipples here, these are not all the way tight, so we're going to have to tighten those down or you're going to have some leaks. It looks like there's a brass copper on there, or brass all washer on there, as well as on this side, so that's good. It'll crimp it down real nice. So we got two hoses in there. Let's make sure both of these, yeah, both of these are going to need to be uh, tightened up. So we'll do that before we get it on. <clears throat> Comes with a little bit of instructions. And this one does have a lock on it, a brake lock. So once you extend it, it's going to stay in that position no matter what. So that's all that's in the box. Throw that out of here. Get that out of here, right? All right, we got a little thing to hold the hoses. You're going to have your two ports up here where your hoses are going to go on. So we'll go ahead and install that. But let me show you what the size is here hold a hole compared to this one now this one remember was 19 and 3 fourths 19 and 3 fourths throw that one off to the side this one is 20 and a quarter 20 and a quarter so that was the closest I could get um, to that one once, once again, as long as you're real close, 
um, you're going to be okay. It's not, it might not be perfect, but as long as you're close, you're going to be okay. So this one actually doesn't come in quite as much, um, but it's, it's going to be okay. It's real close. Right, so we're going to go ahead and do the hoses first. You are going to need, remember, we got to tighten these up here. You are going to need uh, two crescent wrenches and they don't have to be extremely tight. Just tight enough to where though that brass washer is compressed. So we got that one. There will be a little bit of air in these uh, hoses, but that will bleed out um, properly if you just work the, it's, it's not gonna be that crazy. So you don't, you don't have to worry about it too much. Based upon the way my tractor is, I'm actually gonna have the hoses come out the top that way we don't have any issues I guess it's always good to have a I guess I could have used well, crescent wrench but there's you have a little knife could have used that crescent wrench but all it does the same thing you want to make sure you don't get any dirt in here obviously so make sure you pin it up I'm gonna take one take this cap off one of these brass washers and we'll flip it on the other side so it gives it a nice seat there. We'll hand tighten this down. And the way I think I'm going to have this come up. So you want to make sure this is up. The way you can get your hoses in it. We will tighten this down. And remember, it doesn't have to be crazy snug. Just enough to compress that brass washer. There we go. Throw this up in here. So here is our moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and let this kind of hang down a little bit. Well, shoot, I don't know if that's in your way or not. Let's lower this down. Look at that. Now I can show you that. Ha. One good feature on the Coyote, you can do that. Let's take this pin out. Whoop. And we will put this, we're going to put this on the bottom hole here. The Coyote has three different holes for different things. There it went. Perfect. Put this pin in. That's not going to work, I don't think. We have good movement here. I wonder if... Well, you could probably use this. Yeah, like that. See? Use that to hold that up if you want. So that's good. Alright, let's go ahead and hook these up to our ports. And we're going to make sure, I hope these aren't reversed, but we will see which way goes which. I believe this goes out and in. Make sure that's cleaned out. Throw that one in. Throw this one in. What none of that dirt in there. There's that, and let's see what happens. Run it through a couple of times. You're gonna hear a couple clicking. That's just it purging the system. It's looking good. Out in. I don't hear it clicking no more, so that means we are right where we need to be. So let's go and put some zip ties on here just to keep these together so we don't have any issues and just make it look a lot cleaner. 
and nice. So I'm going to do, uh, let's see, two or three. Let me see what two looks like. And we'll put one here. Make sure you put these zip ties where the, once you cut it off, it's facing on the bottom. That way you don't scratch yourself or it doesn't scratch somebody and hurt them. So we'll snug that up real tight. We're going to cut this excess off. Make sure you're cutting that excess off. You don't cut your uh, hose there. All right, so guys, so we got it all taken care of. It's all done. Got it installed. Um, I hope you guys learned something on, you know, how the correct way to buy a hydraulic top link for your tractor, how to do it, um, the installation process. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, if you have any questions, you can always put them in the comments. Make sure you check out the link in the description where you can purchase uh, this. Make it easy for you guys to find. Um, if you have a, especially if you have a coyote tractor like I do. Um, but yeah, that's about all we got. Once again, I appreciate each one of you guys coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you know when we put our next videos up. It truly helps us out. So without further ado, until next time, here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see ya.